Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Why Behind the Worship. All right. Now, today I am um today I'm going to talk about songwriting, Christian songwriting and also worship songwriting. So I want to touch on that because it's a very vital part, you know, um of music especially when it comes to christian music um the songwriting part because i think when it comes to the circular world you can write about whatever you want and put in whatever words you want whether it's out of context in context or who cares it's circular but when it comes to the christian world there has to be some sort of gu- guidelines some sort of um structure to it when it comes to the words and all that kind of stuff um because w- everything is doctrine <laughs> you know anybody can come at you with your lyrics and be like oh this is um you know you're a false prophet or you're a false teacher because you know your songs said this and this and this and this and most of our songwriters if we're not careful we will fall into that and most of the critics are right <laughs> because um you know if you do write a song without some sort of uh you know link to the word of god you know you end up in that kind of um thing so i want to give you guys you know a few takes and some of my own personal experiences when it comes to um songwriting and i just want to encourage you guys um to not stop writing and i, I i'm telling you this You know when God set specific rules for anything in our lives it is not so that we don't have freedom it's actually there is more freedom that comes in um doing what's right <laughs> do you get what i mean you know we think oh god doesn't want us to be free and especially when it comes to the whole creative thing we we think that because it's creativity we're supposed to kind of be free to do whatever but yes we're supposed to be free but in in context of the word of god and so the first thing that i'm going to tell you guys is when it comes to songwriting is that never um just come up with ideas in your mind and go into the word of god to back up your ideas it should be the other way around i encourage you guys when you write songs whether it's worship songs or whether it's um you know just your um what's another word you just just your regular songs that that has a specific message to it um always always search the word go into the word let your songs come out of a place where you are actually in the presence of God and you're reading the word let the songs um that you write come out of that you are not a normal songwriter you are a christian songwriter so meaning um every word that you put out there as a gospel artist as a christian artist is the word of god and it has to be doctrine 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 doctrinal doctrinal factual or whatever who cares but you get what i mean like it, the doctrine of your songs has to be sound so you need to go into the word because i remember back in the day when i was writing songs when i was very young and releasing songs and i remember in the choir days you know people would just um come up with ideas in their mind for example um you know it is wrong to wear um you know uh what do you call it it is wrong to wear necklaces or that kind of stuff and so they they go into the word of god to back up their um crazy ideas and they they would just literally um write songs about how you know wearing necklaces is bad and you're going to end up in hell all that kind of stuff and so you basically came up with, a, with your own idea in your mind and you went into the word to back you up never do that guys never do that let it be the other way around let let your ideas come from the word of god if your ideas come from the word of god you are actually safe um and and of course at the same time even when you actually read the word um which is the second thing i'm going to tell you when you read the word make sure that you read the word in context not out of context 
don't just come up with your own thing also when you're reading um make sure you first of all understand the context of what you're reading before you start writing a song about something um because you're going to end up um interpreting the word of god um your own way and sometimes you you, you can go 100% wrong and then your song comes out and people are judging it and you know people there's you know i you know those vloggers and bloggers who just come out at at false teachers and stuff you end up becoming one of those false teachers because um you not because your 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 walk with Christ is is false um and not because you are not genuine um in it but you did you you came up with your own ideas when you read um that verse make sure that um you just read the word in context <laughs> you know you i mean guys again i am not saying that you don't have the freedom to do whatever you want in your songwriting to be creative and and what not but make sure it, your foundation is the word and make sure that um the the you know the material of the foundation is um is the context you know and then after that you can do whatever you want um build the house however you want build the song however you want but just make sure that it's from the word and make sure that it, it's in context um with what god was trying to say at that time and then once you have built those foundations you can go all out and be creative and do whatever you want so i really hope that this actually makes sense to you because um i really have a passion to um see songwriters write songs and you know i mean like in africa um you know uh, uh you know people that downplay songwriters i want to encourage you guys hey you can actually be a songwriter you don't have to be a singer to be a songwriter um some of you guys are so talented in in songwriting and coming up with melodies but you 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 can't sing guys i have i have a desire to go out there and create an opportunity for for songwriters to be able to actually um you know be creative and continue to do what they do um because it is a thing guys here in the western countries we do it and um song songwriters get paid for for writing other people's songs and all that kind of stuff and i do believe that we are coming in an era especially for africa where of course we are we are behind on a lot of things especially in the music things and all that kind of stuff and i know that we're slowly catching up and guys if you are a songwriter get down to it start writing songs and i'm telling you awesome things are going to happen you can you be able to make a living in the future or even very very soon out of just songwriting but just make sure guys you've got your foundations right um i i i, I don't want to i i don't want to see people uh I'm taking songwriting especially Christian songwriting just like a a thing a little thing that that you do and and you're just being creative or whatever but just make sure guys you are a Christian before you are a musician you are a Christian before you are an artist you are a Christian before you are um a producer you are a Christian before you are whatever I uh, just make sure that your songwriting just make sure that whatever you write let it be let it be founded out of the word of god and let everything that you do be from the word of god i really really encourage you guys because um i know the world is becoming crazier everything is um becoming a little more and more blurry but i i believe tomorrow is better than where we are today i believe the future is becoming better i believe um the songwriters are, are, are writing more anointed songs i do believe that the songs that are coming up in the future are better than the songs of the past because i do believe that god is doing a new thing guys so i'm not one of those people who says oh man um nothing good is ever going to come out of this world because things are getting worse not nah, don't worry about that guys continue um continue uh uh living a life where you just honor god um and i want i want to encourage you guys just honor god in your songwriting make sure you've got your foundations right i'm just bubbling on in circles but guys um that is actually pretty much it i don't want to say any more than that so make sure that you um you 
you go into the word of God to find the ideas. Don't come up with the ideas and go to the word of God to back your ideas up because that's where things get twisted. And the second thing is make sure that it's all in context. And then, and the third thing is be creative, do whatever you want. But after you have set those uh, foundations right. So to my songwriters out there, I'm praying for you. I love you. You guys are amazing. And I can't wait for you guys to write my songs. I'm actually looking um, for songwriters to write my songs because I want to be doing um, song after song, song after song. So if you're a songwriter, make sure you um, DM me, hit me up. I want to I, I wanna see what you guys have to share. And maybe I'll be singing one of your songs and it's going to be a hit. So there you go. This is the why behind the worship. You guys are amazing. See you on the next episode.